And a very good evening, everybody. I'm John Cole. It's always great when local kids come to the Tetons and do well. Crosby's Alex Bailey was a solid defenseman for three years. He scored 36 goals with 74 points and loved playing here in front of the good folks from Northwestern North Dakota. So why so much success? I did. Uh, I just think the people around me were really nice. You know, I had a great group of guys that always wanted to come out and perform. So that helped me make, make my job easier. And a kid from Crosby, you got a chance to play in Williston. Your parents could come up here. I mean, it was a good situation for you. Absolutely. I mean, like I said, or like you said, uh, having my parents come up, that was a huge motivation for me to just be better day in and day out. And you seem to have gotten better year by year, and that comes by hard work, right? Absolutely. And it's nice that I have a good coaching staff that wants me to be better. So that's huge for me. And you always drew well. Williston, Crosby, Watford. I mean, you drew well. Uh, I try. That's just. I want to do the best I can all the time. So, all right. Uh, how do you think you've you've handled the, the transition from playing high school to college? I mean, how how did you handle all that? Uh, I think I did pretty okay stepping into it. I mean, obviously it's a lot better competition when you get up, but I like to play up to the people I'm playing against. So I think I transitioned fairly decent. You got a favorite memory for me playing hockey here for three years? Uh, I think it's just all the road trips with the boys. I mean, I loved all you know the memories on the bus and just playing NHL against all the fellas, so that was nice. And tough competition. I mean, Tetons take on some tough teams. Absolutely, especially teams like you, Mary, Minot, and my and recent memories. So, yeah, those teams are they're outstanding. Like Minot played, you know, an NCAA D1 team this year, and no, nah, just a core memory for playing against them. So. And you had some talented teammates too. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, dude, ton of them. Uh, you know, we had a great goalie this year. These last couple of years, we had Cody Barnes. That that guy's unreal. So, I mean, it's, he makes my job easy. What's the future going to hold hockey-wise for you? Oh, I, whew, I'm undecided, but I'm still going to keep sure. playing. So, sure. I'm absolutely excited to keep playing. Good for him. Solid player. Tomorrow night, Alex talks about growing up in Crosby and all the coaches who helped him get here. And now, if the Tetons could beat Science Night and WAP. They would earn a home playoff game, so how do they do it? Yeah, you know, I think the big thing we got to do is is focus on just what did not go right the last time and be able to get a couple of those things shirt up. Um, and, and I think in our last games we've shown that. Um, you know, we came out and really watching the film back, I mean, we just – we just didn't shoot very good, you know, and and, uh, and got down early, and then from there is pretty, you know, an uphill battle. I mean, really, in those first 10 minutes, we missed a lot of shots that we think were, you know, okay, good shots. Now we got to try and fight to get great shots. Cats beat them badly here last month, 87-56. I'm sure they have not forgot that beating. All right, college hoops, Lady Tetons. Now, this game does not mean a whole lot. Tetons have already wrapped up the regular season title. Science playing them pretty tough at home, 33-29. There's absolutely nobody at the game. So, Tetons are usually drawing pretty well, but no one's at Science today. They must all they, they must all still be at work or something. A win by Watford City tonight over Shiloh Christian sends them to the State A turning next Thursday to Minot State Dome. They met during the regular season. Shiloh Low 152-41, but tonight's the most important one with a ticket to the state on the line. Busy, busy sports day in the good old Peace Garden State. Uh, boys Hockey South beats Dickinson 3-2. Dickinson never won the WDA before, so we're hoping they can come up with a couple wins. Red River gets Century 5-2. Red River scored three goals in the second, five unanswered. And then uh, let's take a timeout right now, folks. Uh, we'll be right back. 